tricky question. Uh, started a while ago when I was at school, actually, and I got to know Ernest Broadbent, who was the resident organist here after Reg Dixon retired, and he recommended me to take over when he retired in 77. What age, dare I ask, were you when you first came to the tower? Well, I started. I didn't start in the ballroom. I started playing in the circus orchestra, oh. which is next door. Yes. And I played there, I think I started there when I was 17. And do you, do you come from a, a generally musically inclined family at all, Phil? Not at all, no. None of my parents play. Uh, and I started to play only by accident. Uh, it was at school when you're given a list of extra artistic subjects to choose from and there were things like PE and metalwork and woodwork. I didn't no, fancy any of those. Uh... So I thought music seemed the easiest, so I opted for that and that's how I started. And like a lot of organists, uh, did, did you start on piano? Or? That was on the piano, yeah. Was on the piano. And uh, you graduated to the organ. What, what's it like to play the Wurlitzer in front of the crowds that come into the tower? Well, obviously it's a big thrill, especially like when it's busy. It's very busy today because the weather's a bit off. Uh, it's a bit windy outside, so they, they come in the tower and we have a marvellous atmosphere. We've just mentioned the crowds. What sort of requests, what's the most favourite requested piece that you, you have to play for them to keep them entertained? I think the most popular must be Spanish Eyes, followed closely by Viva España, <laughs> Beside the Seaside, um, you name it. <laughs> have you ever been embarrassed while you've been playing because these uh, these ladies do tend to uh, get up to some tricks so I've heard in the tower is that right not they, really embarrassed they don't start to, no. to climb on, on they don't the climb no we're not it's not a violent place or, or nothing like that no we had a few try to get at me but nothing serious nothing, uh, too complicated <laughs> no. what is your favorite uh, style of playing then Phil well i like the lively type of playing like Reg Dixon used to play a lot and it's very popular with the the holiday makers and I try to perpetuate that lively style of playing. Okay Phil then, how popular do you think that uh, the theatre organ is in, in this part of, uh, of the world, in the north of England? Well as you know there was a cinema organ in every cinema throughout the country, well more or less every cinema, then when the talkies came they were slowly taken away and sold and chopped up etc but this one here at Blackpool has remained very popular for obvious reasons and the atmosphere of the ballroom and, and everything like that but this is the most popular theatre organ in is the it, world. You've got to say that of course. Is it true to say that the, as well as the in the world it's a pipe organ there are one or two electronic organs in in the tower? There are a lot of electronic organs in the tower. I think in the tower alone we have about five electronic organs plus the the Wurlitzer organ but yes it's very popular. You can't have a Wurlitzer in every room. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Do you um, do you enjoy playing electronics as, as well as the, the theatre organ? Some of them, yes. Some of them I like and some I don't. I don't like the cheaper ones, which tend to sound a bit thin, but the, the more expensive ones are very good, yes. Yeah. And what about the future then, Phil? Do you, how long do you uh, see yourself being here in the, the tower? Would you like to go on if there is such a thing as a bigger and better thing? Well, there's no such thing as a... Not to me, there's no bigger and better thing. This is the, the mecca. But Dixon, Reg Dixon was here for 40 years. I'd like to try and equal that equal record. That, yeah. I've been here 10 now, so another 30 to go. <laughs> keep at it and keep playing the, the mighty world. It's a, thank you very much for talking to me uh, on today, Phil. I um, wish you continued success in the, uh, the world of Blackpool. And uh, thanks for talking to Radio Cavell. Just before you do go, have you got a, a little message just to give to the patients? Uh, in hospital at the moment, they may be listening with legs in traction and one or two well, things not conducive to getting about. Obviously, they hope this, if they hear some of the organ music, it might spur them on a bit to come and look forward to a holiday in Blackpool. I hope they get better soon and quickly. <laughs>